was really hoping that real estate gig would work out. Didn't, and being a bartender just isn't me. I couldn't do all that stuff. And so, I mean, I still need a job because the town, I don't take any money from the town. So, oh, John's Meat Market's hiring. Let me see what they have in here. Hey Vinny, I see you had a sign in the window. You're looking to hire somebody. You know, I I need a I need a gig. The, oh, uh, I don't get any uh, money. I don't take any money from the town, and you know the taxes are tough in this town. Can, can I get a job? You here? Get what a do you job? Get to do? Your first job. Hey. We're too busy. We need a man right now. We need a good man. All right, good. Anytime. I'm your man. Man, he's a nice guy right, right now. <laughs> can you lower the taxes with that knife? Oh, we're gonna cut through. Yes. <laughs> We can cut through a few uh, red tape at least. Yeah, yeah, tape. Through this. And that'll work. All right. <laughs> Bam. Ah. Wow. Wow. This is this is uh, wow. I'm impressed. Now I got a. I got a. I feel, I feel almost like a doctor now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Coat. Well, you know when I I took my son to uh, the Betty Merge in Westfield, uh -huh. I left this on. Oh, I mean, everybody in the waiting room said, "Doctor, doctor." <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Yes. Well, wait a second. Where that blood? We really don't want this doctor, right? They said we'll get the uh, the mayor to get in here. This is called a chuck, a neck. Chuck. Okay. And, and what we do with this is we take it, we trim it up, get the fat off of it, and we use it for, for our ground chuck. Oh, like okay. Chuck roast or right. pot roast, right? Or whatever. So. That's it for you. All right, so what do I do? You just go, if you want, somebody will come in here and say, hey, I want a six pound chuck roast. You cut it right there. Just so you straight think, down. So you need, this is six. This is about a six, seven pound chuck roast. You cut wow. it right there. That's a good cut. Nice. That's a perfect cut. This knife is nice. <laughs> and then right. you'll see what the quality is of that. So, Vinny, I got a job here, right? You're not kidding. That's right. Look at that cut. That's right. perfect. Oh, so good. look at a guy like you, the women will all start coming in. I'll get more All right. Hey. <laughs> we'll have Mayor's Day, right? Yeah. It goes like this. We'll move this over. Mm -hmm. I'll do one for you. And you take it like this. You go underneath here. You go through here. Come back here. You go through there. And you got to oh. tie it. So I'll, I'll see if you see how you do. And you do each one of those individually? Yeah, I do it. I do one, two, maybe three. All right, well, you're going to have to help me again. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take we this. We go here. Right. We go underneath. Underneath. We go then uh, through here. Through here. All right. All right. You come back out. And down. You come, <laughs> let me see. That's, that's good. Yeah, you got it good. And then you come this way to around this way. Oh, underneath. you're doing a double Pull. hitch. Ah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. uh, you're double hitch. That's then, in the Boy Scouts we call this a double half hitch, but yeah, and then you pull it, you hold it here, right? And then you just pull it oh, back, right? And it'll tighten itself up. And See, that's you, why when we did a square knot, you couldn't do this, but it was yeah. double hitch, you could make it work. Oh, okay, yeah. you take it like nice that, and then you just lock it. Oh, and you're ready. And now, why are we doing this so that well, they, it, people like it tied like that? They, they like it the holds roast. the meat better as yeah. it, as it See, roasts. As you, as you go like that, and then yeah. it'll hold it nice. Because you keep that on while you roast it, right? Yes. You don't take yeah, that off. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember my mom yeah. used to do that. And you, want a, you want a little bit of fat for that flavoring. Yeah. It's going to cook down anyway. It gives it good but, flavor. All right, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. All right. That's so, a good job. That's good for a crock pot, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll yeah. bet this about seven, eight hours in a crock pot. Yeah. I'll bet this one. Oh, oh, really that'll, that'll eat because you got, it's nice out of plant So this is called chuck. Yeah, it's just a chuck roast. Chuck roast. Okay. So what else What else can I do now? Well, now you've got the cream of the crop right here. Look at that steak. Oh, it's wow. It's prime New York strip steak. Wow. 21 day dry aged and see the marbling? Yes. That's what makes Beautiful. it beautiful. Beautiful. That's what makes it, yes. You don't need teeth. Uh, you just <laughs> kind of gum it, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's how tender it is. And I'll show you. You, you cut the order whatever size the customer likes. Right. And Use it as, you can try that one. Right. You got All right. Want me to do that yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. See if I can do this? There you go. Oh, another good. You got that nice and even. You know, that's not easy. Well, uh, no, that's a good I job. think maybe I found something yeah, here. Maybe, maybe I finally kidding. found my job here. Yeah, a lot and of you people right across the street from Town Hall, so I can get over here. Right. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, look how smooth that is. It is. Usually uh, somebody will chip away at it. That's, that's All right. Yeah. Right. Well, here's another one. You light the fire. All right. Here's here some beer and wine. Oh, yeah. Blonde. I, I didn't <laughs> want to get into that, Vinny. <laughs> 
that it was all oh, beautiful, huh? All right, yep. But all you got to do is take the knife, just cut a little off, bit, trim the oh, yeah, let me yeah, yeah, a little bit of trim, trim on a little of that fat. So you don't want to have it too much fat, right? In, yeah. And even, so, yeah, perfect. And a little bit off the tail, and you're in. All right, cut this off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I cut it right off the fat. Off right there. Yeah, right there, it's perfect. There. Yeah. Now, all right, there you go. Now they got the heart. They put it on the grill. Oh yeah, I can do and this. We're ready to eat. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, we want to leave a little fat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Man, uh, all right. You sure, you didn't do this before. Well, listen, Vinny. You know, sometimes he's a natural. Sometimes you're a natural. Yeah. You know what I would have trouble with, though, knowing that this is uh, prime New York steak. I mean, that's where I'd have to learn. Oh, and how do you cook, cook this now? It, it cooks very easy. You, uh, it's so tender. You don't need much heat. Do I? Do I? I can cook this on the grill. On the grill. I can. Uh, uh, I can boil, boil it. Yeah. About five, seven, five minutes on each side. Side. Very, very tender. You want and to I have to put it because it's already marinated or yeah, no, it's dry. It's, no, it's a, it's a. If the marbling is so good, you don't, you don't have need to, anything. Uh, Just cook it up like that. Yeah. If you want wow. some pepper to taste, but that's all you need. You did a nice job. Yes. You cut through, right? Okay. Well, listen. Well, I have to tell you, my father was a butcher. During, oh, yeah. Yeah. During the depression, he was a he was the only guy working. He was a butcher. He worked for uh, I forget which one of the. Uh, uh, a big, big firm, Armour. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He worked for them, mm -hmm. and uh, that's how the family lived, was him being a butcher. Well, and, and of course, he had this big scar that went like this. That was one bad yeah, day, you know? <laughs> yeah, we all get that. Oh, man. That's all right, what else? Do you need me to do anything you else for you here? Oh, wow. From, uh, we, we get them out of uh, a hang of beef, which okay. comes out of Manhattan. We fly back to for us, but he trims, he really trims it nicely. nicely yes. You'll never see another trim like that. Okay. In the store, say, you usually 50% waste. All right. This is called a strap. Okay. Right in here. So, you cut the strap here. out, or? The strap that, off, it's the same too. Like that. And what do you do? Is that just waste now, or? What the hell? No, you, know, you, you trim it up, you get, no, you you get that think, off of it. Right. Okay. Oh, to take the wedge out of here. I the, the right. Pull the wedge. Oh, that's, that's worse I would like to do it, but this is no, a little bit more difficult. All right. Because of the, uh, uh, I the silver. The model and the yeah. 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 Yes. I got to tell you. I see. It's pretty good. Oh, the whole draw. You got to get real light. Okay. You need. Yeah. That's like sort of taking the bottom off of a piece of salmon. Okay. Yes. Exactly. But you got nice sharp knives, because yeah, not yeah. every knife will do that, I'll no, tell you that. No. So this is John's meat cut. There you go. And the parcel's uh, right here. Uh, $20 oh. and 24 cents. So I got to collect $24? All right, do we wrap these up? Yep. Paper, there we go. Right? Right? Yeah. Sure. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sure. 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 I probably worked here for you before. I, I now, what do we charge you for this? There it is. There you go. 65.39. And I got a little chip in. I got to put the chip in. Yep, you got to put the chip in. What's up, is it looking? What's going on? Mr. Mayor. Lewis, is that you? What are you doing here? Well, you know, this is my new job now. Uh, You're just skipping from job to job. Well, I think this one might last, though, because I, I, I seem to have a talent for this. You know, when I was trying to work for you selling those houses, that didn't work out too well. And being a bartender, <laughs> no, nah, you know. You're joking on the job. No, right, you know, work. but here, I, I've been really doing well here. Really? What? You cut your finger already, I see. Oh, um, <laughs> But, yeah, well, let's... Let's, let me introduce you to the owners. This is Vinny Lasavio and his brother Nick. Their father started this great store 80 years ago. And uh, 1939, he was 21 years old, and it's quite a success. This has been voted the best meat market in New Jersey uh, by New Jersey Monthly Magazine for what? Several yeah, years now in a row? Mm -hmm. And it's really good, and I wouldn't work anyplace else. I mean, this, you gotta work for the top. If you're gonna work in a business, you wanna work for the top. So Vinny, why don't you give me a little history of the story? Well, as you said, uh, Mayor, thank you for uh, coming here and uh, your new job. We appreciate it. All right. Uh, uh, my father started, he was 21 years old, 1939. There were still uh, dirt roads out front, and uh, he worked night and day here, right through the, uh, the end of the Depression, mm -hmm. up. And then I finished college in 1966, mm -hmm. and I've been here 50-some years. Wow. And then after that, uh, right after that, my brother came in. He was 
How old were you? Uh, he was right there. The same. Right. Now, did you work here? As, you worked here as boys. Did your dad kind of break you into the business? How to buy the meat? How to judge the quality of the meat? Well, he, what he did was when I first came with him, I'd go with him into Manhattan. Okay. We, we'd leave about three, four in the morning. On Monday mornings, we go in and we pick out the, the hang and beef, which we still use. Well, and what part of town did you go to in New York? Uh, 14th Street. Street. They Street. had, them, they had them, uh, the district down there. Yeah, that was it was packed. You couldn't right. get a parking spot. You couldn't get anything there. And this was the prime meats in the area. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had the one guy, and he had all hang and beef that came from the west. Uh -huh. It came on the rail. Okay. And then they broke it all down, and we picked out what we wanted. And, and so you drove in in, an, in the car. Your dad had a car. You we drove had a van. there. We used a van. To go all right. There. Yeah. All right. So that was. The, and what time did you go there? I, I bet it was early in the morning. You yeah, we we left about three, four in the morning to get. Wow. I was tired, and he wasn't. And he, <laughs> he was, you know, in his, by that time he was in his sixties. The yeah. man never got tired. And did your dad have to then teach you a little bit more about how to cut the meat, how to work with the customers? Right. Like, for 30 straight years, yeah. you, could, you could always learn, with, especially with that. He was, uh, I'm glad, he was a tough crack. He was a good taskmaster. Yep, that's how we... Uh, and we how learned. did he learn the business? It was just try, just started it, or...? He was 14, he was uh, delivering orders for a meat market. On a bicycle. On a bicycle. Okay. And when he hit 17, he asked the guy, can I come in and learn how to cut meat? Right. And that's how we started with it. And then the guy opened a business in here, uh -huh. and uh, we went from then on, he sold him the business. business. Okay. The brother was a little, uh, <laughs> All right. and, and he, uh, you know, he wanted to get out, so he sold it to my father. All right, and what, this lo actual location here, or you had another location? We, we were in a, on the corner with uh, Mark, La Costa's, with, with, La Costa's uh, with the groceries. Okay. It was, Reganti, was it Reganti Market yeah, then? Yeah. And they split, and then my father went and bought this piece of property and built it here in, in 1950. Right. So, how, and now you have all these different delicacies that you have, and you have additions, and uh, so how did you guys learn to do that? Uh, again, was that your dad teaching you? Well, he just the basic, rigging down the meat, and you know, at the beginning, well, like my brother, myself, and the men, and he sent me to a meat, fresh out of college, to a meat cutting school in okay. Ohio, all right. uh, to learn the uh, eight weeks of basic, and then I came here, and then with his veteran butchers, they, they, they stayed right on top of you. Oh, yeah. So. In all the years that you've worked here and working with your dad, what's some of the memorable experiences you've had of, of being here for so long? Uh, well, the one thing that stays in my mind and my brother picked up right away, he never used the word work. He never said, I'm going to work. Oh, right. It's hard to believe. I used to go, down I'm tired. He never That's said, I'm going to work. I'm going to the store. I'm That's a trait I've learned from people who really love their work. Yeah. It's not work, it's a love. It's mm -hmm. a and if you, exactly and if you love your work... That's what it was. Uh, and and I, I mean, part of this series we're doing, this is coming out more and more. People who are really successful, they love what they do, yeah. they can't wait to get to where they're going to do it and do it. Right. Now, Lewis, do you... Yeah. Now, Lewis is yeah. with Culture yeah. State. Do you have... Yeah. So, since you guys have been here for 80 years, does that make you the oldest business in town? Now, now it is, yeah. Yes, right, right, yeah. right behind us with Greg the music, and he was 50. 50. 50. He's been here 50 years. Yeah, so you got him. You got about 30 years. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, hard, I mean, it's hard to believe. Every time I think uh, uh, 80 years, I mean, I, I'm tired. I'm 51 to 52 years here, yeah. and uh, uh, my father was here until he was 87. Yeah. I can, he was in the back. I'm yeah. Father, I mean, 87. Uh, yeah. That means I got the 78. Uh, You're going to have a few more years. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell me about this. A lot of the. Uh, Local businesses have come and gone, but you persevered. And do you? What do you? What do you think the reason behind that is? Well, the main thing is I, I'm positive that uh, the, we kept our quality up. We kept the marketing up. You know, our face in front of the public, and uh, we kept everything the best customer service in our quality. And uh, uh, it's a shame because there's so many stores. <coughs> excuse me. That came in the Scotch Plains that were. I mean, we had uh, two jewelry stores, two hardware stores, uh -huh. a, a clothing store, and little by little. Uh, the people, uh, uh, they, the consumer, shot over to the box store, and little by little, their sales went down. And the uh, children's store uh, uh, down the street, a great place. There was a shoe, I, yeah, shoe store. And the shoe store. Yeah. The kids are us. It's the chip, chipped away a little bit, a little bit, and uh, we had the competition for all kind of business, but we uh, stayed. What my father said, we kept in front of the public. We kept the quality. We never. We never sank. We, our face was always out there on the, uh, and now with the uh, uh, internet, we, we, we keep it, that's, it's very important to stay afloat. And I said, those other, so many stores, uh, 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 it was the dress stores, uh, 
Yeah, you know, we, they could have stayed. The people only, uh, you know, they, they, they think because the box store is less. And actually, if you do your research, quality-wise, it's not. And they could, they could have been surviving. And it's a, a perfect town for... Uh, for, uh, uh, for businesses, yeah, okay. I mean, it's a perfect setup. It's uh, centrally located uh, from five or six different towns, like a mile or less right down the street. So we're right here. Well, it's true. You're not going to buy quality meats like this, fresh quality meats, on the internet. I mean, they're always going to have to send it to you in some frozen yeah. form or another. It's so. impossible. And, and what we do too is we, we love seeing the customers. As you just right. saw a person. I know everybody's name. My right. brother knows it. You try to take care of them, and they, they understand that. You want to give them the best, and they, they appreciate it, and they come back. So that, that helps. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they come along. They, I mean, we're lucky. Uh, I, I always I tell my brothers, uh, Thanksgiving is close to uh, almost 2,000 turkeys. I, I said, that's, I mean, that's like a gift from God. We're, you know, we're really uh, lucky that with all the competition and everything that's out there, that we're ahead of them. So when the you sell a turkey, it's all ready to go into the oven? No, ready to go. All we're right. Farm. Right. Right. Chemicals, yeah. So, so what, tell us a little bit about your 80th birthday, which is coming up. What, do you, what kind of plans do you have for uh, We're bringing live music for uh, uh, yeah, Jersey Jukebox uh, doo-wop group. All right. Guys from Brooklyn, and uh, they have a, a tremendous following. We're going to have tents set up. Uh, we're going to have big sales in the store. It's uh, May 11th. Oh, yeah, yeah. That make, that make I, I can <laughs> say I've had steaks from John's Meat Market, and it, they Thank are the you. best. I appreciate, I appreciate that. that. Yeah. Yeah. They are, so you guys don't just sell to the public. You sell to restaurants as well, right? Yeah, yeah we have... Uh, we have an uproot restaurant. Uproot. Uh, Salt and Lime in, in the Somerville. Uproot in Warren. Yeah. Yeah, Prestige and, and, in uh, New Providence. New Providence. And uh, Vicky's in Westfield. Nice. They all came in. And, and, and they went in the icebox. They wanted to see what they were getting, you know. And they weren't. Right. A lot of them call up first. They want how much? How much? And that you know that they don't care about the quality. These guys wanted the prestige. Wanted to make sure it was fresh hanging meat. Everyone was adamant about the quality. That was the first step. And these are these are quality restaurants. Now, do you deliver? They pick up from you. Both. We do both. both. Yeah. A combination of both. Okay. Yes. Great. So, question. I see you guys have a picture on the wall with Mr. T. How did you guys? Pull that off. No, I, mean, he, he, he got, I was on vacation. He, he had called. They had called here, and yeah, yeah, tell you, there was a restaurant failing. Yeah, yeah it, it was it, a show it, they were doing yeah. on Bravo. Uh, I pity the fool. I pity the fool. That was it. Yeah, yeah. That and he was failing, and he wanted to show you how to run a business. And he came in here, and he says, "This is how you run a business the right way." Yeah. And uh, that was part of his uh, his show. Wow. So yes. What about the future now? Uh, how do you see your 80 years, and how are you going to get to be 100 years? Oh, we, got, uh, we got my son and my son-in-law. Okay. And I got brothers. So there's a there's a plan for the there's business another, to continue. Yeah, yeah. And, the, well, yeah, and the, with the new, uh, uh, not only the, the meat, but we're doing an awful lot of prepared foods. It's a, it's a big thing today. Yeah, you know, I kept saying, oh, it's a pain in the neck, but the more they cook, uh, the more right. they sell. Like chicken pot pies and soup, it's almost, it's daily. So that's a good thing, it's fresh, but it's a, it's a trend of, uh, you know, years ago it was steaks and chops, that was it. And now it's, yeah, now it's a... Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. I do want to ask you one thing, though. So, we just started a green initiative in town. It's called the Green Team. And they want to get all the businesses involved on how they can participate and be more conscious about sustainability in Scotch Plains. So, they'd like for everybody to kind of like think, like, what is it that you guys can do to contribute, such as maybe, you know, uh, change light bulbs, or maybe recycle certain things, or maybe give your customers a discount if they bring their own Tupperware instead of you guys having to bag everything. You know, things like that. Yeah, so I mean, that would be a good, yeah, I mean, that would be a good way for you guys to save energy, one thing, but it would also be a good way to actually market yourself. Because being marketed as the green butcher, kind of like the butcher, you know, that thinks about sustainability, that people, you're gonna get all the young, you know, they, they, love that. they love that stuff. They love that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's and as, and as I tell you, as we develop more and more the downtown as a walkable downtown, you're going to get more people who are going to look for this, you know, yeah, green, that's sustainable that's towns. Yeah. That's you know part of their lifestyles. They're going to want to live there. Yeah, you're right. The new uh, that generation wants to do that. I, I know I have four children, and that's the way they're they're set up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we even had to bring veggie burgers in because they're vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. We can get you guys to participate. We'll get you guys a really nice sticker for the door that says "Certified Green Business." Yeah, you guys are good. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, Great idea. idea. Yeah, that's a, a good boost to have. Yeah, but we uh, we want to go with that. I, I okay. Well, thank you very much, Mayor. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, guys. Good luck. Well, thank and we'll you. Put us we'll out. Be back here for the birthday. Yeah. Well, I